Now, as you probably would figure out, that when it comes to accessing shared files and folders across the network, that if you disconnect from the network, that you no longer have access to those files or folders. For example, if you have a laptop and you're at your place of business and you plug into the network or you're working wirelessly and you have access there, if you disconnect from the network, unplug from it, or you're no longer within the uh, wireless range of that network, then you no longer have access to those shared files and folders. But what you can do is make those files available or accessible offline. In other words, all you're doing is you're flipping a switch saying, hey, when I disconnect from the network, make a copy of this file on my computer so I can go ahead and make changes and work while I'm away from the network or from the office, maybe on the road. So to make those files accessible when you're disconnected from the network or to create a copy, as it were, on your computer, you first have to enable the offline access, and that's done by coming down here and clicking on the Start button, going to All Programs, and then finding your Accessories folder, click on it to expand it, and then clicking on the Sync Center. Of course, the fastest way is to come down here and type in Sync Center without having to go through all those menus. And then come up here, click on it, it opens up, and then to turn it on, over here in the Task pane, click on Manage Offline Files, and then up at the top here it says use offline files to keep copies, again the operative word being copies, on your computer of those files that are available or shareable on the network. So it says this allows you to work with them even when you're not connected to the network or the server is unavailable. Go ahead and click on the button, enable offline files, and then when you click okie dokie it's going to say you got to restart your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer so it can take effect, and then we'll come back here and finish up the training. I just restarted my computer and a couple of things. First of all, down here in the notification area, you should have a green circle here for the sync center that when you click on it, it'll open up the center or because I'm having some issues with my computer, I can still go over here, click on the start button, go to all programs and go to the accessories and click on the sync center here. Now I have a question. Why do we have to go to the sync center to be able to turn on and make available those offline files? Well, think about it. If I go ahead and I take somebody's file that's available on the network and I say make a copy of it on my computer and I make some changes on that copy, then I reconnect to the network, then I'm going to have some text on my copy that's going to be different from the text that's on the network. And so what you want to do is you want to sync up. That's why we come to the sync center. So any changes can be absorbed into the uh, file that's available on the network and be updated as it were. But for right now, I want to be able to show you how to enable offline access. And again, that's coming here to the Sync Center. And then over here in the Task pane, clicking on Manage Offline Files. Now, when we first came here, you had the button that says Enable. Now it's Disable, so if you want to stop this, just go ahead and click on Disable. But in addition to the General tab, when you enable the offline files, you have the Disk Usage tab. In other words, how much space do you want to allocate for those files that are available on the network? to be copied onto your computer so when you're disconnected from the network you can work on those files. Well to exaggerate a point if you have maybe a half a gigabyte and you've got tons of files that equal a hundred gigabytes well it won't be able to copy those files over to your computer and make them available offline on your computer when you're disconnected from the network. But right now it says I got 220 gigabytes available of course I can change the limits here by clicking on the button and use the sliders to go up or down and not make so much space on my computer available because maybe I don't have that much disk space. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel and, and maybe to help free things up I can click on Delete Temporary Files and it'll go ahead and delete those temporary offline files or copies there. When I'm finished click OK. Then all I need to do now is just go ahead and go to a file that's available on the network and make that file available offline and this is how you do it. Go ahead and close out. Let's go to the network by opening up any folder here on our computer. Because over here in the navigation pane, we have Jason's laptop. Click on that. And then come over here. Let's go to the carry folder because remember, in here he had a picture of his pooch. Well, he also has a file here, pooch comments. Let's double click and open it up. It says, please add any comments you have that could help me raise a healthy, happy dog. And of course, dog is spelled incorrectly. If this was a business, and you're writing up notes or brainstorming here, and you already have a lot of notes here from other comments or other users on the network, then you want to make this available offline by coming up here and right-clicking on the file and going down to Always Available Offline. Now, you don't get that in the shortcut menu. 
if you didn't turn on Access Offline Files or enabled it as we just went through the Sync Center and we had to restart our computer. So go ahead and select all the files that are on the network and right click on them and select Always Available Offline and then it makes a copy of it on your computer and you know that it's available offline when you get a little green circle on that file. Let me come up here and double click on the uh, window header to maximize the window because I want to show you that in addition to making this file available offline that up here on the command bar you can go ahead and sync this file manually which syncs up to the computer when this file is offline or your servers down or you disconnected from the network because you're working on the road so if I go ahead and unplug my computer now and I go outside or I'm driving on the road well you shouldn't be doing this while driving but I'm at a hotel because I'm doing some training and I'm away from my network then I can go ahead and double click and still open this up and work on it but you can see right now that I'm still connected to the network because otherwise I wouldn't get this button right here work offline so for me to go ahead and simulate that I disconnected from the network I'm gonna go ahead and click work offline notice that the picture of the pooch has disappeared because I did not make that available offline or when I right clicked and said always available offline it made a copy of the pooch comments onto my computer where it didn't make a copy of the picture of the pooch because again I didn't make that always available offline. Now in the next training video I'm going to make some changes to the uh, document here that's offline and then have Jason on his computer make some changes so when I go ahead and connect back to the network we're going to have different text on my offline file and different text on his file that he made available on the network and see how we can sync up and resolve any conflicts. As you recall in the previous training video when I came up here on the command bar and I clicked the work offline button the pooch image because I didn't make that available when I disconnected from the network it disappeared. Well now it's reappeared and it's got a gray X through it. Like I said I'm having a little bit of a slowness issue with my network but it finally updated and it's showing me all the files within that folder that's not available when it's offline. In fact if you look up here and I select pooch comments down below in the details pane it says it's always available. Well off or online. Come up here and select pooch and it says as far as offline availability goes it's not available. I come up here and double click on it it's not available so I can't see the picture. So in other words because I didn't make this file available offline it didn't create a copy and put it on my computer here locally. That brings up a good question. Why go through all the steps as we just went in the previous training video to basically in so many words take a copy of the file on the network and place it upon my computer? Well you could go ahead and do that so when you disconnect from the network go ahead and open up your local file work on it and then when you reconnect you'll have to open up your local file and then open up the file on the network and compare between the two to see if any changes were made. If you made changes, well, then you can just go ahead and save it and overwrite the file on the network. But then again, if there are any changes made in the uh, file on the network, how would you know? You'd have to look back and forth to see if there were any conflicts. Well, if you follow the steps in the previous training video and set these files up to be available offline and let the uh, sync center go ahead and indicate which files are available offline and create a copy for you on your computer then if you make any changes to this file that I'm about to show you and let's say the owner of the file that has this file still on the network makes changes as well when you reconnect to the network you're going to have conflicts and you'll be flagged of those conflicts in other words if you make any changes and the other person makes any changes or anybody on the network for that matter to the file that's still on the network when we're disconnected it'll let us know. For example if I come up here and double click open up the file let me go ahead and make a slight change here to the correct spelling of DOG instead of DAWG close out be sure to save my work and then I'm gonna go ahead and tell Jason to make some changes to the file that's on the network pooch comments and then we'll see what happens when I reconnect to the network and sync up to see how the sync center handles these conflicts okay Jason went ahead and made the changes and so all I need to do now is to be able to reconnect to the network come up here on the command bar click on work online so now I'm reconnected how do I know well the gray X is gone with the pooch double click open him up and there's the puppy I now have access to him now once I'm reconnected if I go ahead and double click and open up the folder here it's not going to show me the changes that Jason has made and what I've made here isn't going to update with the pooch comments file that's on the network so to do that I can do it one of two ways I can either come up here and right click on the file and go down to sync 
and then come over and click on Sync Selected Offline Files, and notice that it sees a conflict, and you've got three choices. You can either keep this version that I have on my computer, the copy, or keep the version that's on the network that Jason updated, or keep both. In which case, I get the pooch comments, and then this version here that's still on the network should be renamed pooch comments training v1 for version 1. Or what I can do is come up here, select the file up on the command bar, click on the sync drop down arrow, and say sync offline files in this folder. And then once I have them synced, I can come down here in the notification area, click on the arrow. And if there were any conflicts, again, my network's having a little bit of an issue here, there should be a little yellow yield sign on the sync center icon here, but it's not showing it. Click on it to open up the sync center, and then go ahead and double click on conflicts, and it would show the conflicts, just basically a little file here that you can double click on, and it'll open up and give you the same options. Let me close out as if you right clicked here and went down to sync to sync selected offline files. So for the sake of the training video, I'm going to go ahead and say keep both versions, click on it, and then you'll see I've got the original file, but when I double click and open it up, well, it looks like it kept the original file that Jason made, and then he added his own text, anybody, he probably got restless saying, hey look, can anybody add any comments? And then I have my version, double click and open it up, and there's the change there. In which case, if I want to go ahead and take what information I have in here and and copy and paste that into the online file here. I can go ahead and do that. Or just keep them separate and then send Jason an email because on his end, not only does he have the original pooch comments in his folder that he's sharing with us all and his image, but he also has the other text file, pooch comments, training version one. He can open that up and take a look at it and say, oh, I see what you've done and I like the changes. If he does, then he can delete that from his computer and just keep this one. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.